Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're gonna learn Gymnopedi number one by Eric Satie. If you don't know this piece, this is a very soothing, very relaxed composition, originally for piano uh, and arranged for guitar by many different people. And I've created my own arrangement of this out of their arrangements. So I can't really call this my arrangement, but it's kind of a puzzle I've made out of different people's arrangements, so I'm not taking credit for this one. Um, but I'm gonna teach you how to play this. But first, I'm gonna play it for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna have fun with this and learn this. It's not very complicated, but it demands patience. Okay? A lot of patience in the playing itself. It goes like this. Okay, so you begin with this, okay? This is A major seven. Now, before we go into the chord, um, I just wanna say that the rhythm is in three, three times. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? Then when the when the actual licks begin, the melody when it when the melody kicks in, you start to hear the rhythm. But on the first four chords, you have to count it for yourself. Okay, um, okay. So A major seven. You put your first, second, and third fingers on the first, second, and third strings on frets four, five, and six respectively okay so you play the a bass and then the chord okay 
Now, this is A major 7 because if this is F major 7, you just take it out. Okay, and you don't need this note because that's an octave above the A bass, and you play the A bass, so you don't need another A note. So, and this is A major 7. Now, the second chord is E major 7, and you bar the 4th fret on strings 1, 2, and 3, and you play that with the E bass. So, okay? And then you play those chords again. Okay, and then the melody kicks in. Now, um, I forgot to mention, this composition has one part with two different endings. You play the first part with the first ending, you play the second part with the second ending. Then, I, I only played it once in the demonstration, but in the original uh, composition you play everything twice. You play first part, first ending, first part, second ending, first part, first ending, first part, second ending, okay? The composition uh, plays itself twice. Um, that's in the original uh, sheet music. So uh, I just had to mention it, um, but you can loop it around and play it as many times as you want, of course. It, you're gonna be the one playing it. So uh, the first lick, it's A major seven again, and you play the bass and the chord, then you put your pinky on the 7th fret of the E string, okay? So it's 1, 2, 3, okay? 1, 2, 3, okay? A whole bar. Now, um, you need to play this as slowly as possible, very relaxed, very thoughtful, very soothing, okay? No rush, no, n no showing off. Okay, this is supposed to be soothing music, like dream music, okay, like a dreamscape. So, right? That's the first lick. The second lick is this. It's the E bass along with five on the E string, okay, so it's... And then you bar the fourth fret and you play the chord. And then you play the second string again on four. Okay, so it's five chord four on the B string. Okay, five on the E string chord, then four on the B string within the chord. Okay, so A major seven, E major seven. And then it's this. You put your third finger on six on the G string and you play that with the A bass. And you prepare your finger, your first finger on four on the B string. And then you play both second and third strings. Okay, so it's note, chord, note again. It's five on the B string. Or you can play this, the open E string. I prefer the fretted note sound over the open string sound. So I play it like this, okay, instead of, okay. The open, the open string sound is kind of anemic in my opinion in my ear, okay, in my mind. So uh, that's just my opinion. You can play the, the final note on five on the B string or the open E string. It's your choice. So six on the G string with the A bass, then six and four on uh, the G and B strings, okay, respectively, and then five on the B string. So. And then you put on the E major 7 again and you play the G string along with the E bass and then you play strings 1 and 2. So you get okay? and 
and that's one, two, three, and then. Then you play C sharp minor over A. Um, that's C sharp minor, okay, bar on four. A minor shape, you just take the bar off and put your first finger on four on the E string. And that way, when you add this note, you're actually playing C sharp minor instead of just a major uh, seven, okay? And this note six on the D string makes all the difference because this is a major seven and this is C sharp minor over A. Okay, see the difference? So you put on this shape, okay, the C sharp minor shape without the bar, and you play strings four and five, the D string and the A string together, and then you play strings one, two, and three. Right? So it was play an E major 7 again and then an A major 7 again and then an E major 7 again okay and then you play the melody again so A major 7 E major 7 6 and 4 on strings 3 and 2 5 on the B string and then E major 7 again. Okay? And the melody stops there. You don't play the C sharp minor over A again. The next chord is G sharp minor. So let's go over uh, the entire thing again. Even though it's relatively simple, A major 7 for two bars, E major 7, then again A major 7, E major 7. Okay, then the melody, A major 7. 7 on the E string, 5 on the E string, E major 7, 4 on the B string, 6 and 4 on G and B strings, 5 on the B string, E major 7. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm, I'm a bit hoarse. Um, so my throat hurts just a little, so um, it's all the air conditioning. Um, okay, and then... Sharp minor over A. You play the A bass along with the D string on six. Remember? Okay, and then E major seven again, and then A major seven again, and then E major seven again, and then the melody again. Okay. Right? Think you got it. Now you bar the the fourth fret, you put on a G sharp minor chord, E minor shaped, okay, and you play the B string and the E bass, okay, you play strings two and six, both on four, and then you play strings three and four, so it's strings two and six, three and four. And then you put on a C sharp minor chord, this time with the bar, and you play strings one and five, and then you play strings two and three. Okay, so you're actually playing the same thing, but the chord goes down, down physically, up musically, and your picking pattern goes down as well, okay, along with it. So, okay, got it? G sharp minor, C sharp minor. So um, I don't think we need to repeat that, but we will anyway. This is a lesson. So G sharp minor strings two and two and six, three and four. G sharp minor uh, strings one and five, both on four. Then strings two and three. Then you bar the second fret, okay, entirely, and you play strings one and six. 
and then strings two and three. This is F sharp minor. Okay, so you keep the bar on, you put your fingers like this, pinky on five on the B string and your third finger on four on the D string. And you play the, uh, the, um, the F sharp bass. Again, this is B seven sus four over F sharp. Okay, so um, you can call it, you can call this F sharp, uh, F sharp minor seven, but it leads into, into E minor. So I think musically this is B seven sus four over F sharp because B seven sus four is the dominant chord for uh, E minor. So you can call it either way, uh, F sharp minor seven or B seven sus four over F sharp. It's the same chord. Um, now, you play strings four and six, okay, the F sharp octave, they're both F sharp, okay, on two and four, so you play that, strings four and six, and then you play strings two and three, on five and two, okay, so, and then E minor. Okay? Now you can play E minor like this, but again, it's an open string sound. If you prefer the open string sound, play the bass and then play strings one, two, and three. If you uh, prefer the, the fat sound of, um, of lower strings and of fretted notes, then play five, four, and five, okay, it's kind of a D7 shape, on strings two, three, and four, okay, two, uh, second string, five, four, and five, okay, so, now the added benefit of this is that you can vibrate it a little, okay, you can, if you want, okay, that's an option, you can't, vibrate open strings unless you do this like Tommy Emmanuel likes to do um, bend the, the neck just a little or if you're playing it this on an electric guitar and you have a whammy bar okay but again it's just E minor okay so the last uh, four chords were this G sharp minor C sharp minor F sharp minor, and then B7 sus4 over F sharp, and then E minor. Okay, now E minor actually begins the second half of the first part. Okay, so uh, you, you play the E minor, and then you put on uh, B minor chord, but you take the second finger off, so it's a B sus2 chord, but we're gonna complete this into B minor, but you need the open B string first on two, so you play the B octave, you play strings five and three, okay, on two and four, okay, this is B, it's both B notes, so um, it's a B octave, just like you played the F sharp octave before. Okay, notice the motifs in the composition. There's a lot of repetition here, uh, not only on the four, the first four chords, it, the repetition goes throughout. That's the motif of this piece. So, the B octave, then strings two and three on two and four, and then three on the second string. Okay, put on the missing finger, okay, so it's Got it? It's... That's it. Note, chord, note. Okay? The compositional motif here. Note, chord, note. And then you play this. This is, again, note, chord, note. So you play seven on the B string with the open E bass. Then five and six on strings two and three. 
right? And then six on the G string. You're already playing this, so. This is it. Seven on the B string, five and six on strings two and three, and then six again on the G string. So together it's and then you take this shape two frets down to three and four on the second and third strings and you play you play the open E strings okay both E strings and then you play strings two and three on uh, two and on three and four and then two on the B string and then an open E minor position okay and you play um, the open E strings and then strings two and three okay so it's one two three one Okay, the second, uh, the second half of what I just played, the, the next chord is still E minor, but this time you play the bass, the second and third strings, and then the open E string. Okay, so it's... Okay? Both bars are E minor. But this begins the next lick, which is this. with what we just played uh, this so um, let's play the previous lick again B minor let's begin with E minor and then B minor 7 5 and 6 6 3 and 4 2 on the B string then E minor Okay, that was the end of the lick, that's E minor. So we played Okay, now the next lick. Okay. So we learned the first chord. Okay, E minor, bass, second and third strings, first string. Then uh, two, three, and five on the E string with the E bass along with the first note, with two on the E string, the F sharp note, so it's okay, two, three, and five. Then you put on the this B minor shape on uh, the seventh fret. You bar the seventh fret up to the third or fourth strings. Um, either one works, and you put your third finger on nine on the D string. Okay, so you have seven, 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 and nine. That's B minor over E because you play the E bass. That's a pedal note. So you played the E bass for the last five bars. So you're gonna play it for four more bars. Um, no, actually, you, yeah, yeah, that was correct. Okay, so the next uh, lick is this. Strings one and six, and then strings three and four, and then an open E string. Okay, so it's And then you play the seven, five and six, six lick again. Okay, remember seven on the B string, five and six on the uh, second and third strings, and then six on the G string. Okay, you play this lick, and then you play uh, the same E minor you used to end the previous line. Okay, both E strings, strings one and six, and then strings two and three. Okay, 
So what you just played was this. minor, 2, 3, 5, B minor over E, 7 on the E string, strings 3 and 4, open E string, uh, 7, 5, 6, 6, lick, E minor again, strings 1 and 6, and then 2 and 3. Then the next uh, lick is this. And that's the end of the first part okay so you play E minor again bass second and third strings first string then you put on the bar on the second fret again uh, on F sharp minor and you add your pinky on five on the E string okay that's still F sharp minor and you play strings one and six and then two and three okay so it was Then you play the first ending, right? So let's just recap and play the first part really quick. A minor, uh, A minor, A major seven, E major seven. Okay, for two bars, not one. I'm playing one bar. Then A major seven again. Then A E major seven again. Then the first melody. Seven five. Six, six and four, five, E major seven again, C major seven over A, ah, C major seven, C sharp minor. It's really confusing to play and call it out at the same time. E major seven again, A major seven, E major seven, melody again. C sharp minor, F sharp minor, B7 sus4 over F sharp, E minor, B minor, lick, 7, 5, 6, 6, 3, 4, 2, E minor, E minor again, 2, B minor over E. Lick again. E minor. E minor. F sharp minor. And then the first ending. starts with a G sharp minor chord. You bar the fourth fret, okay, you don't have to put anything else on, and you play strings one and six, and then strings two and three. And then you put on a C sharp five chord, okay? Uh, I call this C sharp five, even though you need to bar, um, because you don't play the first and second strings here. You play this. So uh, you play the C sharp octave, you play strings three and five, and then you take the pinky off and you play strings uh, three and four on four and six respectively, and then you put the pinky back on and you play six on the third string. Okay, got it? You play the C, uh, the C sharp octave, you take the pinky off, play strings three and four, six again on the G string, okay? And then you put this on, B over F sharp. And this is, um, it's, the shape is B7, okay? But we're not gonna play the G string, so there's no seven. 
um, and we need the F sharp bass. So we bar the second fret and you put your pinky on the second string on four and your third finger on the fourth string on four. So you have four on the B string and four on the D string. And you play, you play strings two, four, and six. Okay, on four, four, and two. And then five on the B string. And then, okay, you move your pinky. And then two on the E string, which is already barred. And you play this twice. Then you keep this shape on and you play strings two, four, and six again with five on the B string this time. And then on the E string, two and four. Okay? Two is the bar, four is the pinky. And then you play this. B minor. You bar the seventh fret entirely and you, you add your pinky on 10 on the E string. You play strings one, two, three, and six. And then you bar the ninth fret, okay? Uh, up to the third string and add your pinky on 12 on the E string and you play this with the E bass. You play everything, strings one, two, three, and six. This is E, right? Because this is E and this is an E note, so this is E. So what we had, and you're done with the first ending, okay? That's the first ending. So, G sharp minor, C sharp five, okay, note, chord, note, then B over F sharp, five, two on the second and first strings, then again, keep this on, play it. Two, four on the E string, okay, play this, and then B minor, seven and ten on the E string, then E, this is nine, you bar it, and twelve on the E string, open E bass. That's the first ending. So let's um, play this f along with the last lick of the first part. Um... Let's um, play the last lick of the of the first part with the second ending. Okay, now the second ending is a bit more difficult than the rest of this uh, piece. It's a bit more complicated note-wise, so um, I'm not sure I'm going to play it perfectly. Uh, but let's try. Let's connect the end of the first part to the second ending. Mm. Just play the second ending again so you can wrap your head around it. Let's start with the F sharp minor because this kind of um, gives it a counter chord. Ah, again. Hope you got it. 
Okay, the second ending starts with this. Now what is this chord? This is G over F sharp. Okay, if you play G and you move your bass down one fret, it's G over F sharp. And you've probably played this before if you played something like this. Okay, it's probably played it as a transition between G and E minor comes around a lot in uh, rock songs and folk songs okay so you probably played this before but you've never played this as a chord you just played it as a transition okay that's uh, how brilliant this choice of chord is so you put your first finger on two on E bass and your pinky on three on the E string, the high E string, okay? So this is a G chord, but this is an F sharp bass. So this is G over F sharp. Now this is also G over F sharp. Okay, you hear a G over F sharp here. Okay, this is G by the way, because F, F sharp, G. Okay, so we're going to have another G over F sharp. Um, actually, we're going to play it twice more. Okay, but let's stick with the first chord. So this is the shape. Okay, just two and three. Um, and you play strings one and six, and then strings two and three. Okay, strings two and three are open. Um, and then you bar the second fret, okay, again. Um, and this time you play this, strings 2 and 6, both on 2, and then you put this chord on, okay, this is G, it's 3, 4, and 5 on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th strings, okay, okay, and you're playing this, and then you need to lay your pinky down, uh, not your pinky, your 2nd uh, finger uh, you need to lay that down to play three on the E string so it's okay you lay it down okay okay you have to practice this a little I know I had to this is really uncomfortable so Okay, and then you bar the second uh, fret again, and this is gonna be B minor over F sharp, but it's dissected, it's kind of cut into pieces, so you can play it as cut into pieces. You can play it like this, okay? Because you need to let go of the bar anyway. Um, okay, this is, this is B, this is B minor at 11, okay? But um, we'll treat it as a B minor over F sharp. Um, you borrow the second fret, you play strings one and six, then you put your pinky and third fingers where it's supposed to be inside B minor, okay? On four and four on the third and fourth strings and you play strings one, three, and four. And then you play three on the B string. Okay? So... Okay, try to keep the E string ringing without touching it when you put the second finger on the third fret of the B string. Okay? And then you bar the second fret again, and you play strings one and six. And then instead of four and four on the third and fourth strings, you play four and five because you're putting on the G again. Okay, so, okay. This time you're playing strings one, three, and four again, but instead of zero, four, and four, you're playing zero, four, and five, okay? and then three on the B string again. So this is B minor, this is G, okay? There's one 
note difference. Okay? And that's how brilliant this composition is. B minor. G. Okay? You can barely hear the difference, but your ear does recognize the difference, and that's what makes it so special. Uh, this choice of notes. Okay? And then, the final lick, okay, we have to learn because then you play the B minor and E chords again. The final lick is this. Okay? This is... Okay, it's kind of a, a two arpeggios over each other. Um, so, the top notes are... It's an open G string, and then zero and five on the E string. And the uh, um, low notes are, okay, just an outline of F sharp five. Okay, um, so the entire second ending is a pedal F sharp bass, but it's a kind of a pedal F sharp minor chord, okay, just an ominous chord in the background. So. That's the motif of the second ending. So, um, and it, the chords that build on top of the F sharp bass are B minor and G. So, you play two on the E bass with an open G string, and then four on the A bass with an open E string, and then four on the G string, and five on the E string. So you have and then B minor again, okay, bar on seven, ten on the E string, then E again. Okay, open E bass, nine is barred, and twelve on the E string. So the second ending was G over F sharp. G over F sharp again. B minor over F sharp, G over F sharp again, arpeggio, double arpeggio, B minor, E. Now, um, the, um, we're not going to go over the notes we're playing, okay, we already went over all of this. Um, but I'm gonna play it really slow so you can go along with the tab. It's supposed to be really slow anyway. Okay, put on the G chord, lay your second finger down, four and four, add the three, four and five, add the three, double arpeggio. Okay, so Let's connect this to the ending of the A of the A part, the first part, the only part. play the first part with the first ending and then you play the first part with the second ending again okay you play everything twice so you're done before you go subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there's a ton of lessons here already and I take requests and I keep making lessons uh, and uh, go download the tab from the website it's also for free everything is for free but if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff there's a huge blue donation button you can donate to Lick and Riff everything goes right back into Lick and Riff into making time to make these arrangements practice them work them out making these videos editing them polishing them uploading them it all takes work and it all takes time so any donation you choose to make I'd be very very grateful and I thank you in advance for it now you go practice get this under your fingers this is a beautiful piece uh, it's very relaxing very soothing it's it's a beautiful composition and it's great to have that in your arsenal of 
licks and chords and compositions that you know how to play or just you know just for learning purposes um, you can't go wrong with learning more stuff to play I'll let you go now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you the next lesson